Next into the tank are Chris and Patrick, a larger-than-life business team with big plans for the future. How you going? I'm Chris, a 28-year-old builder from Sydney. So this is your living area. I've been a builder for 10 years, and the same problem I see on every single job is having to change things after we've already built it. If you look at the entry walls here, we had already built them. It cost probably 10 grand to do it, and it cost us about five grand to remove. We've developed a way to solve that problem. Being able to visualise your house properly would save you a lot of money because you won't be changing your mind. How'd it go? Beautiful. I'm feeling good about going out there and uh, letting them know what's, what's on offer. I don't know if my flaws aren't done. <laughs> it is. <laughs> lucky I checked, eh? Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go. Hi, I'm Patrick. This is Chris. We're from Life Size Plans. We're up to $2 million for 20% equity in our business. At Life Size Plans, we get your architect's plans and we project it onto the ground of our 850 square metre warehouse. Uh, we add in furniture, walls, and you get a chance to walk through your house before it's built. Nice. We've got a video just so you can get a, a feel for it. After they give us the plans, we project them from the ceiling onto the floor to a one-to-one -one scale. When you're walking through our warehouse, you're basically walking on a life-size scale of your home. So we give people the opportunity to see what they're, where they're throwing their money for, for a small investment they get to sort of try before you buy. So you can change your plans before you start building. And in the video, there's, there's furniture in there. It, it's not augmented, it's actual furniture. Yeah, we roll in some king-size beds, uh, w walls. Yeah, yeah, great. So it, it, it throws it onto the floor, which is awesome, right? Yeah, it's as big as the IMAX theatre. Yep. Cool. Thank you, gentlemen. So you're looking yeah. for $2 million for 20% of your business. Yep. So it's just a very modest valuation at around $10 million. $10 million. Bucks. So uh, why don't you kick us off, Chris? I've got the feeling you're the engineer and he's the sales guy. Yeah, I'm the builder, he's the technician, so... Yeah, so basically came up with the idea yeah. on, on building sites. Sort of home builder? Yeah, residential. How long have you been doing that? Ten years. Ten years? Yeah, and every time I build someone's house, without exception, they'd always say, I wish I'd done this or I wish I'd done that. Yeah. In, uh, in most cases, um, they get me to change things mid-construction, which costs them money, costs me money. <laughs> I think we can all relate to that. Yeah. 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 Chris, why, why did you go to Patrick? What's he got that you couldn't do yourself? Oh, just a good bloke. Time. Besides that, I mean, I think you, it was time. you're after some skills, but what, what, what's he got? Sorry, you got a lot, Patrick. I just can't think of it right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think at the time, he needed someone that will actually go and run it and get it to the next level. My background is in IT. Um, I started building the website for Chris. One thing led to another. And um, I'm, I, I'm not real good with the computer and, and all that. And Patrick has a, a Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, so... That doesn't um, mean he's good with computer. Just because he's got a Facebook and Instagram oh, account. There you go. That's how far I go. So, email's tech or not? <laughs> no, not really. No, well, he's always been doing my emails, so I guess he's been doing nothing. Yeah. Oh, Chris. G'day, um, Patrick and Chris. I'm Steve. How you doing? Uh, how you going? Mm. I can make a mist of anything if you've got traction. So you, you've put a $10 million number on your business. That means you must have a lot of people out there paying you to do exactly this. We're turning out about 23 um, sessions a week at about 1,100 a session. The average check would be about 1,100. So hits us about 1.3 million a year. Wow. Got a great cash flow business. Expenses wise, we've got 60,000 60, in rent. The only staff member is me, um, and that's 20, to cover 23 sessions. So if we had, let's take me out of the kitchen, if we had an operator at 60,000 a year or something like that, then put some incidental or just put some other expenses, we'd still end up with 1.1 profit. How long does a session take? Uh, typically an hour. Or an hour. So you're working this thing for 23 hours a week. In probably At a the moment. In yeah. probably a 60 hour week. Yeah. That's not bad utilisation, eh? Yeah, for an empty warehouse with nothing in it, it's pretty good. That's damn good. That's damn good. 
So Patrick, with your $10 million valuation, I, I understand the technology. Mm -hmm. Get me excited about how you scale it. So just off the bat, we'd open in Brisbane, Melbourne. Initial plan is to license. We we're thinking $100,000 for a one-off license fee, then some amount per year to service that. So Patrick, I'm in Brisbane. I want to buy a license off you. I need a space, which I could rent. How much do I have to pay for all this projecting equipment? Uh, look, I mean, it's not just the equipment, but we can set up the warehouse for about 720 grand. 700. So, yeah. so to, in order to buy a license, I need $700,000 to be in business with you. No more, because you need the license. Yeah, no, I know, I know, exactly. Need, uh, That's a big number at the front. Yeah. Yeah. But you could probably make that in the first year, yeah? It's, it's almost a million dollars to be in this business. But I could have bought a system uh, that cost me three, three, four hundred grand less. But what's, what's 700 grand get you these, any, uh, these days anyway? Chicken shop? You're a bloody builder. <laughs> You're a bloody so, builder, mate. You so, tell so me. Chris, <laughs> so swap chairs. Swap chairs. Just walk me through the 720,000 you're asking me to cough up as a franchisee or a licensee or something. Yeah, what, break that what down. Are you, where are you spending that? It looks like the floors have to be 100% level. Then you got to, you can't just go to any building because the building uh, expands and contracts, especially big metal structures. So you, you got to, we got to rig purlins up and structural members up. So when we hit, hit, sit the projectors there, they don't sit there and bounce. Because if a projector moves one millimeter up the top, look, you can't show the client. We know that the value for the customer is 100% there. Every customer that's come through has made a change. That alone for us is what's got me excited. You realise if they only get to, you know, 55 people a week, that oh one location makes them three million a year. There's no question that the single biggest investment most people have is their home. And there's also no question that the biggest fear people have is understanding plans. Mm -hmm. yeah. So to be able to walk through for this is actually yeah, incredible. So it's, it's well done. Yeah. You, you're a bit of an enigma, you guys, because you clearly have created a service that is of great value to the customer at a very reasonable price. What's worrying me, Chris, is you haven't done enough work on how could I scale back the cost so that I could have 20 of these around Australia at a much lower cost. So, you know, that's the bit that's holding me back. So, one of the things about the price tag in terms of the $700,000 of a setup, it does create a barrier for entry. So it does make it harder for somebody to just pop into the same game, and that's great. What you haven't managed to convince me of today is the pipeline. Sure. So it's too early. So for yeah. that reason, I'm out. Thanks. For where you are right now, it's it's you know great. Yeah. The the issue is you know I don't think it's scalable. So I'm not sure that I'm the right investor for you today. Thanks. I'm Thank out. You. Appreciate it. You are on the verge of breaking through a business that could be make you a very good living. Um, and if you can somehow get that barrier of entry lower, then I think you can scale. But at this sort of valuation, you leave me no choice. I'm out. So three sharks are out. We've, um. got, we've got the two Queenslanders on the end still here. If you could just stand one of these things up for like 200 grand or something that's a lot less risky than putting, you know, you put them close to a brick on the line. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I wish you all the best and I'm out. You're out. Thanks. You're asking a, a licensee or a franchisee to take a big risk. It's a space that I'm a little nervous about. And because of my nervousness, I can't invest. 
Thank you. Oh, mate, I wish you the best, guys. Bloody Thanks, guys. guys. Thank you. Good job. It. Thanks, guys. Not really all good. Back to work. Yeah, back to work. We've got some displays on that we've got to get to. Yeah. Chris was good. He knew his shit, didn't he? He was good. He's a have a go. He's actually put real coin and said, let's just go and do this. He's an entrepreneur that's actually prepared to back his thoughts with, with some activity.